Well, hello everyone, this is Sean1113. With your Sean Steele's NFL Mock Draft, I'm doing this for the first time. And it will be uploaded on YouTube pretty soon. Um, and it, this is going to be an up, more of an update list, because yesterday I did my podcast, the Sean1113 podcast, where I will um, have a link here in this video. And also I have an email address at Sean Lasseter at ProtonMail.com if you have any thoughts. Otherwise, comment, like, and subscribe to this video. And thank you so much for watching. Um, the updated list I, uh, on, on the Sean Lemon 13 podcast yesterday, um, little did we know that the Teddy Bridgewater trade to Denver, the Carolina trade, um, took place yesterday. And it changes some things a bit, quite a bit. So let's look at the let's look what could possibly happen tonight, um, April 29th, 2021, the 2021 NFL draft coming from Cleveland. Here is the first two, and the tenth one is probably a, more likely a lock. Trevor Lawrence to Jacksonville, Zach Wilson for BYU to the New York Jets. And Patrick Sertan third going to Dallas. From three on down, very interesting. I'm telling number three right now, either they're going to stay with Mac Jones in San Francisco, the four, San Francisco 49ers I'm referring to. I think they're either going to pick Mac Jones or go with Trey Lance from North Dakota State University. So, and if Jones does not get picked, I'm going to say, new, if I'm a New England fan, if Mac Jones goes that goes down, down the draft board, and they pick, already picked Trey Lance for San Francisco, I have a feeling he'll go to New England. Mac Jones, that is. Goes to New England. So if I'm a New England fan, I get, I get excited with the prospect of getting him, and then He's actually going to be an upgrade with Cam Newton. So, but but again, but again, you never know. Know with that. Number four, I have a feeling Kyle Pitts will be off the board for Atlanta. And I've said it in my podcast, and I'll say it here. He is the security blanket, just like Travis Kelsey, just like George Kittle in San Francisco, just like Rob Gronkowski has been the Tom Brady all these years in New England, Tampa Bay. And Kyle Pitts will be that kind of person for for Atlanta. Atlanta. As you, Julio Jones go up in years, you have Calvin Ridley more more in in Atlanta. In my opinion, I do believe they're going to have Kyle Pitts, which I think everybody wants because he's probably the best available um, person in the draft, best athlete in the draft, in my opinion. Then at number five. Um, going to be very interesting with Cincinnati. I think they want to take Jamar Chase or Penel Sewell from Oregon is up there. They're going to pick one of those two. I think Penel Sewell and Jamar Chase, the best two players available at that time. Cincinnati will might pick either one of those. And if either one of them goes, Chase or Chanel, they might be going to the Miami Dolphins. And Jamar Chase or Penae Sewell of Oregon, offensive tackle of Oregon, um, going to the Miami Dolphins. And if they're not going there, well, Detroit might pick them, pick, pick Sewell up or might take Jalen Waddle, Jamar Chase. Who knows? Number eight and number nine are very are the most intriguing ones. Eight, I have a feeling. Just Justin Fields either might go to Carolina or Denver, and that's even with Teddy Bridgewater now there. Um, are there confident Sam Donald's going to be the going to be the quarterback? I don't know about Carolina, but I have a feeling they're going to pick Fields in that spot. 
Maybe even Mac Jones. Jones. I think Darno and Bridgewater. I think Sam Darno for Carolina. And I think Trady Bridgewater, excuse me, for um, Denver are going to be the stopgaps at the are going to be the stopgap quarterbacks. Maybe even Trey Lance if he goes that far. But I have a feeling that right now, um, I get a, I get a feeling Justin Fields are going to, is going to be there or Trey Lance. And the same with Denver as well. Maybe Matt Jones is going to be up in those two. Those two. But it's going to be very intriguing. Or you might, you still might see a trade down. Um, but right now, it's any, Denver and Carolina is anybody's guess. And I don't see Jackson Phillips going far that far down or Trey Lance going far that down other than eighth or ninth at that point. If they're not taken already. If either man is not taken already before then. So that's my opinion about it. And then Pactor Sertan at number ten to Dallas. Um I'm gonna do a little extra as well. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers I know there's a lot of Pittsburgh Steelers fans out there. I'm going to make an extra pick for you guys as well. I know they need a quarterback. I think next year you're going to get that quarterback. Um, to replace them or a veteran quarterback to place big man. Because it's beyond time. Because I know you guys, I know it's beyond time. Um, to replace big man Roethlisberger for the quarterback position. I think you'll get it in the draft or you're going to get a veteran or a young quarterback, quarterback, quarterback to have it, because Dwayne Haskins, in my opinion, hasn't proved anything yet, maybe he will hope to prove it in um, Pittsburgh, um, I think not, you're going to like Najee Harris of Alabama, I think he's going to be the consensus pick for Pittsburgh, you do need a receiving end, receiving running back, and a, and a guy that can go in between the tackles as well. That that then I'm agreeing with because Kid Connor, I'm sorry, he couldn't do it, and he was awfully injured. So, I believe Najee Harris of Alabama will go to the Pittsburgh Steelers when it's all said and done. And that's my Sean Steele's 2021 NFL mock draft updated. Remember to comment, like, like, and subscribe. Consider going to my podcast and consider going to my podcast at the link. Thank you so much for watching.